Final score from the Greenbrier here on a beautiful evening, 1916. The Vegas Rollers win, and it's a champagne toast at center court Creekside for the Vegas Rollers, whose season has concluded tonight. We'll get into exactly why that champagne toast happened shortly, but a look at the winningest doubles team ever in tennis history. These are some phenomenal human beings who've won just about everything under the sun, uh, including some matches on the golf course. Yeah. And uh, let's just hope that maybe they aren't completely done yet. We'll get to that and much more uh, coming up because Bob and Mike Bryan are our guaranteed rate players of the match. Gentlemen, you've won just about everything there is to win. In fact, if it would be a much shorter interview if I just rattled off what you haven't done. Um, t tell me about the emotions of coming into this season in a weird time in the world and playing WTT all the way through from start to finish. Yeah, I mean, look, this was this was a fun three weeks for us. Um, could have been couldn't have been in a better place. Uh, the Green Bar is so beautiful. Felt like a vacation. Uh, we love our teammates. It was great uh, when we heard this was happening. It gave us something to really work for, and uh, we worked well on goals, and it motivated us to get back in shape and and start playing hard. Uh, tonight was sweet. Uh, it, it was great to get a team victory. You know, the girls in the women's doubles were down 4-0, 30 love, and they, they turned around, put a couple games on the board, and then Mike Mike and Asia played uh, white hot in the mixed. So, uh, you know, it, it kind of it, it leaves with, a, like, a sweet feeling. So, um, you know, we don't know how much tennis we got left uh, in us. You know, we said we were going to decide uh, what we're going to do for the rest of the summer after team tennis. Uh, I unfortunately have a little bit of a quad strain, so I wasn't able to um, play tonight. Sam Query filled my shoes fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, we're having a blast playing tennis, um, maybe for the last time, but, um, you know, no better place to play, uh, than, than the Greenbrier here for world team tennis. When you look back at all the accomplishments that you've had, Olympic gold medals, slams, world team tennis, does a moment stick out to you? Maybe a, a little bit more prominent, more paramount than another? Yeah, I mean, always playing for your country is extra special. Um, winning the Davis Cup for Patrick McEnroe and Roddick and Blake over there in Portland against the Russians was a pretty sweet feeling, being able to clinch the match for our country. And then the Olympic gold, if we had to uh, give up all of our trophies for those two, we probably would because uh, playing for your country is so great. But um, it's always the, the stickiest moment is, is the last one, and, and, and we won today. That feels good. Um, and we love, we love this season. It, it, it was a blast for us to get back out here. We thought we played some good ball. Uh, we're going to discuss if we want to keep going. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, we felt pretty young, you know, except for Bob Blue's uh, quad out. We, we, we have some good stuff left. Who knows if we're going to um, keep doing it. But um, it's been it's been a fun ride. Well, we've danced around it a little bit. You each have sort of kind of answered the question, but let's talk probability here. What are the chances of seeing Bob and Mike Bryan back on a court uh, very soon? Maybe this wasn't the end that we thought it was going to be. Or are we done? Are we going to see you back playing tennis again as a team, boys? I mean, that's a great question. I, I don't even think we know yet. Uh, we've been, you know, talking about it. Obviously, tennis has been our whole life. We've been on tour now 23 years. It's hard to imagine anything uh, other than practicing for tournaments and, you know, going to sleep early and eating the right meals. Um, but I got a great home life. Uh, Mike just had a, a baby. Um, I love spending time with my family, and I know Mike's just starting to feel that, that love that he's got for his son and his wife. Um, so, you know, life's good on the other side as well. We got to weigh, you know, the travel and how much time we have to spend away from them. But look, tennis is, like I said, it's been our life. We love the adrenaline rush. We love seeing the fans and we love giving back and promoting doubles. Um, you know, we're grateful for everyone that supported us our whole career from the tournament directors and the ball kids and the fans. And, um, you know, we really, we really love this life and, and, uh, we've had a good run if it's over, but we're going to sit down. You know, if we decide to come back and play some tennis in 2021, then you'll probably see us, you know, later this summer at the Open just to keep it going. If we decide to shut it down in 2021, or then this might be it. So, um, we'll, who knows? Yeah, who knows what's going to go on? We're going to go pack our bags right now. We got an early flight. Uh, we're going to fly to different coasts and then uh, maybe get on a Zoom call and, <laughs> and hash it out. But uh, well, who knows? All right, gentlemen. 
I appreciate the uh, honesty and I appreciate the openness and I certainly appreciate everything that you have done for the sport of tennis and uh, humankind. You guys have been great on and off the court and it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you boys over the last two years. And I have a gut feeling, I'm at least I'm hoping, it's not the last time we get to interview each other and talk. Thanks, Gizmo. Thanks, Nick. All right, boys. All right, buddy. Bob and Mike Bryan, absolute legends. And I don't use that word lightly at all. An absolute beautiful sunset on what is a fantastic career. Hopefully there's more. Bob and Mike Bryan in team competitions led Stanford to NCAA team titles in 97 and 98. Bob won the NCAA singles, doubles, and team titles in 98. A 25-5 record in Davis Cup doubles matches for the United States. They won all four on the 2007 championship team in the 18th season playing world team tennis. Two titles in 2004 for the Newport Beach Breakers and in 2010 for the Kansas City Explorers. Possibly the most iconic thing about the Bryan brothers, other than those personalities and the smiles, the chest bump. We've seen it over the years and time and time again. The perfection that that exudes, well, pretty much just sums them up. Hopefully this isn't the last time we see these boys, but a salute to say so long and more to come on the Tennis Channel next.